know, Frank McCabe setting a bit of an omen for tonight. Look at primetime Rich Lopez. One of the congregation's favorites. Two of the sanctuary season six and seven students have really come into their own. I'm not here to see Frank McCabe. I don't know if he sold anybody out, but I mean it. Hear that? They're chanting rich, rich, rich. They're not chanting for Frank McCabe right now. I sometimes forget that's my job today. Is he teaching him the Irish jig? A cheap shot by Ridge Lopez, but nicely done by the kid. It looks like Frank McCabe's bell was rung. Strong lock up by these two young stallions. Tackle down goes Rich Lopez. Frank McCabe letting him know what's up. Am I being joined? I'm being joined. I'm being joined by Ryan Zero here. You got a microphone right here, kid. Ryan Zero with the. What is this? Is this alcohol? Crown Royale? Uh, Caramel Crown Royale. I see that you're getting your night off to a good start. A better start than Frank McCabe is having his night start off to. Now you realize you got to do semi-heel commentary since I'm here as the face side of things. You can be a little bit of a prick on the face. I'm a drinker, so it should be easy. Yeah, it should be easy for you right now. Here we go. Is Rich Lopez right now trying to pick up Frank McCabe's date? I mean, I mean his his purchase. I'm not quite sure. What would you call that? It's a prostitute, I guess. Uh, that would be a purchase. Frank that would McKay, be a purchase. Frank McKay very much has to purchase with him. Well, I, I understand that. There's, there's no way she is out here without some sort of financial gain. No. Did you see her lipstick? It's blue. It is blue. Speaking of blue, next week our season finale, Black and Blue Friday, live from the Sanctuary Stun Studio. You can't talk much more about it other than it's the night of survival. I'm not allowed to play on that show either. You might be able to play on that show. Yeah, I might be able I'm to working, play on that show. I'm working on trying to set up two stunt fights on that one, but we'll see. I got I got four guys right now. I, I need to get to eight. I can't I can't play fight tonight. Uh, I'm hurt. We don't allow that here. We don't. Yeah, once somebody gets hurt here at the Sanctuary Stunt Studio, I don't let others. You know, you got to take a week off from play fighting. But I kept talking to a microphone. Kind of. Mostly. It was your jaw that was hurt, correct? Yeah. Yeah. It hurts more to eat than talk. I can talk. All right. Well, good. It should be feeling a little numb right now from the amount of, well, let's face facts. This feels about uh, about half full now. I'm an optimist. Ooh, well, there's a lot of that left. There's a lot of that left. I'm not that drunk. Listen to the congregation. They're coming alive for Rich Lopez. I'd like to let everybody know the same story. Rich Lopez studio. was smart. He would take his fingers and dig them into the eyes of Frank McCabe. Well, I think Rich Lopez is above digging his fingers into another human being's eyes. I think he could fight out on his own. Rich Lopez is a man. That man, he's yet to secure any gold here at the Sanctuary Stunt Studio. Possibly in Season 8. We'll see. I, uh, that's an amazing fact. If out of these two new stunt fighters that we've trained here at the Sanctuary Stunt Studio, would you think that it would be Frank McCabe would be the guy? 
that is holding the gold and will be holding the gold over the entire season's break, making him like a six-month champion here. Not not at all, but I, I think we really know who the star of that team is. Frank McCabe. <laughs> if, you, if you ask me who's the star between Frank McCabe and Jason King, I'm going to pick Frank McCabe 10 out of 10 times. The congregation trying to will Rich Lopez up to his feet. Come on, Lopez, you got this. He's just not on his feet. He's going up to the top. Oh, man, you know he's going for those high risk, possibly high reward, or match ending maneuvers. This stun fight could end right up here, right now. Second rope superplex. That was nicely done by Frank McCabe. I didn't think he had that in him. Who taught him that? Must have been Jason King. Jason would have taught him anything. Maybe John Ness? You're right. Jason King ain't teaching him anything. Maybe it's that. Maybe his uh, his lady friend taught him that. She said is she that, taught him a few new tricks. <laughs> is that is that involved with the payment plan? Might be. It might be part of the purchase package. You know, maybe he bundled it. You know, it's like home phone and uh, internet. He bundled prostitution with, you know, stunt fight training. Shake, rattle, roll! Nope. Bam! Down with the maybe, scissor. Maybe it's over. It's over. Rich Lopez got it. One, two. And, oh. Is that Jason King? I think that's Jason. What's Jason King doing down here? Jason King is distracting. The, come on, what's he doing down here? Oh, he, he clearly has the referees to take. Oh, this is the scratch your back, scratch my back sort of. Th oh, come on! Not this way! Shake, rattle, roll, it's over. That, that was an uppercut to the lower abdominal region. One, two, three. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm still not sure if that's his music, but we'll keep going with it. I just figured he had new entrance music.